two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. It's early, but it now it's a cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. Play action. Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again. Two in a row. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's another first down as they look his way again this time. Night. It's second down and 10. Now Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of they a quarterback. They work cut out for him. Here's a quarterback coming off a game in which he threw four touchdowns. And they've watched the tape all week. They've seen it. But what can they do differently? I think they've got a... It's a foot race. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside at 11. Now it's Burrow. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. This is going to be another good football here as they've got it with a first and ten. This, and he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they have the football and will take over at the 24. Now it's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Aaron Donald in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit. It's not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different look. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. It's a big six for the Bengals TV. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way into the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time, and... The pick up a six. Brings up second and four. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards Downs. the center of the field. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. That's caught. It's 2-2 that -well. well. And they move this all the way down to the nine. And they have a yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Burrow on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards. Now Burrow on first down. And that one caught downfield by Burrow. And all the way inside the 15. It blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. From the gun on third down is Burrow. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Now Stafford. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzier with a pick. And the 
really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. In motion left goes Boyd. They'll fake the jet sweep and go play action with Burrow. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Byron Young. Now a give to Madison. Oh, a a move. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he gets it up past the 35. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no to their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Get in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy. Pushes past him. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 54 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On second down, here's Stafford. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football yeah, game. Double coverage could react. Mixon. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Losing four yards that time. And now it's fourth down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three at the Bengals' 34 yard line. Stafford. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. In his fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs. Now a first down throw. Stafford. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll be taking Dago backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Now Stafford. Complete. Jefferson's drive is over. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. And this is taken in by the tight end, Bryson Hopkins. Three back to the line now. Now it's Stafford. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. Gonna take a peek and we'll take a break. And Crosby missed it. No good. Wide to the left for Crosby. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. And that one an absolute backbreaker. A chance to get back within a score race what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done.